So I have a dilemma. I have to make a bracket for this, but then I have to measure. It's really hard to uh, get all this hook correctly. So I came up with an ingenious solution. The solution is, it's from a kindergarten art exercise. I grab a pencil and put it put on here and basically scratch all around. I got the profile and the side blade width and size, especially the holes are exactly the same. So I, all I need to do is to scan this in and I got a precise bracket. I've been thinking all night how I, actually not all night, a few days, how I'm going to measure this. That's why I put out this the last. And it was fairly easy. It's actually easier than Ivan's wing. So I went ahead and traced this on here and did the same thing, scratching the edge of the wing with a marker or the pencil, blue pencil that I did over here. Get the exact holes and the profile and the little winglet right here. Scanned it and put in the computer. And this way I can get exact measurements uh, for the bracket. At least making the wing make sure it's correct. So when the bracket goes in, it will fit the hole perfectly in the wing profile. So what I did is uh, I scratched this over the bracket like we did in kindergarten with pennies and other textures and I bring it here, make it to scale uh, how I did to scale is that this is 11 by 7, uh, 8 by 11 sheet so this is 8 by 11 sheet, scanned it and I did a few measurements going from this point to this point so the very edge of furthest away of this hole and that hole okay, and also this hole and this hole and they all matches up afterwards I went ahead then did a scratch, very quick scratch of um, the wing foil and that's a little piece in the back and the wing blade uh, the wing vertical piece on the side okay and then I trace those right here and bring them down and bring all these pieces together in here make the model okay and of course this uh, got all the width 76 inch for this particular GT250 I was custom made uh, from APR and so 76 inches plus whatever, this is also I custom cut my, my side uh, flat I guess uh, into this so I make it shorter and skinny bring this in there and the distance, so this the distance the way I do it is fairly easy um, the way I did it, oh I gotta show you this um, the way I figure out where this mounts is I measure this point to the tip of the wing and that's the distance and I fit it in uh, it's almost perfect once you fit this point to this all the curve lines up seamlessly Beautiful. So what I did is after I uh, basically put this overlay on top of it, this all together, put that over on top of it, um, figure out the exact location on the on this piece. I made sure the tip from here to the outside tip to the outside tip in millimeters. Okay, because it's in millimeters, so if it just off by half millimeter, it's not a big deal. The steel will will flex. But it's fairly close and get that mounting the mount to the center. So now after it's all done, this is my GT250 APR wing to down to millimeters accuracy. Very accurate. And I can use this into the model and make the new bracket for it. Including the holes. The most important is all the holes from APR. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Either this is the fixed point, and this is adjustment, or this is the adjustment, this is the fixed point. Um, I will do that next. Also, this hole and this hole fits perfectly for the OEM. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, Ivan, Ivan Swing bracket can use this hole and one of this hole to fit. should be perfect. So this wing can fit about three to four different brackets. In position. Okay, so this is for the APR wing setup. So I made the APR wing, measured it to be exactly measurement, and there is a bracket for APR wing. You can see right here uh, how much hole there is. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, take out the so you can see how much hole that is. So I figure a way. This hole will actually fit the Ivan Happy wing, so I'm gonna keep that bracket. Um, so I figured a way to cover that hole up, so I'm really perfect. The only difference is, as I'm adjusting this, this will all fit, I will actually put four bolts in. Now I do like four bolts better than two bolts or a single bolt because it allowed this wing to be very rigid. And the same thing, I went ahead and took out the holes in the middle. As for this guy, uh, proportion-wise it looks good with the hole in the middle because it's a large portion of the wing. 
uh, brackets. So that will have, and also it's one and a half inch like the other the other one. So there's four and a one. Okay. And this is four and a one, but larger. Also, I went with the same angle, but they're they're brackets. Identical identical ang angle right there, and identical angle right there, and fit it in. But I do need to because they they do come with a skinnier uh, bracket mount right here, so I will have a little bit of filler uh, plates in here, which I need to water jet in now about one eighth inch. Okay, so that will be the idea behind this, and move ahead. This will be the finished product. Really nice setup using the paint follows the curve of the bumper so it will not rattle rattle left and right. And when you look from the back, it's just a beautiful GT wing. Simple internal mount, clean on the top, you don't see those holes, and very nice clean black bolts goes in. And same thing for the low wing style. I do like this option a lot, it looks really nice. Low wing style. I will cut them out and they will read very good. So those two. Now I'm going to turn it back into color. Proportion wise, the low wing has that ZR1 feel. And the high wing, it just has a race car, standard race car feel. Very nice GT wings attached to the back. Let me get out of this. Attached to the back of the Corvette. And also, with a large blade like this, it adds as a stabilizer. Very nice. Thanks for watching and next video we'll see all the parts after water jet, maybe installation.